Wednesday afternoon. We're here once again in the foyer of the House of Commons. Today is a very interesting day because in a few hours, around 6 o'clock or so this evening, there'll be a vote on implementation of the Kyoto Accord. Now, as we know, the Conservatives have been against Kyoto, but we're not quite that sure now. They seem to be softening. But climate change is a big issue with everybody in this country. How do we get there? Well, my guest is a guy who is on that path. Pablo Rodriguez is one of the Liberal Members of Parliament. He's got a bill coming up tonight, which is a Kyoto implementation bill. It's a big issue here, and we'll get to that in a minute. But Pablo, first, for those um, people who aren't familiar with you, where are you from? How long have you been an MP, and what's your riding like? Well, uh, first of all, thanks for having me, Garth. Um, um, Pablo Rodriguez, it says around, it's not French, not English. I'm from Argentina. I was born from Argentina and came here when I was eight for political reasons, not many people from across the world, and um, I was involved all my life in politics here in Canada, and I became an MP in 2004, and re-elected in 2006, in the writing of uh, Anne-Henri Merci, which is in the east end of Montreal. All right, very good. Now, your bill is the Kyoto Implementation yeah. Bill, essentially. So what, it's forcing the government to act. Tell, tell us yeah, how... It for, well, actually, it forces the government to, to meet our, our Kyoto obligations for the first phase, which is the 6% under the 1990 emissions level. Uh, it's a very important bill. It's, 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 it's attracting a lot of attention, as you said, because it's mm -hmm. very rare that a private bill goes so far, and a private bill with such magnitude, especially. I mean, the, the government has been trying everything to kill the bill, and they're even trying again. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit like David against Goliath, because I have the whole government machine trying to kill the bill that is trying to force them to respect Kyoto. Yeah, Pablo's quite right. It is it is a private member's bill, and you've been at this for most of a year now, haven't Almost, you? Uh, ten months. Ten months he's been at it. And a private member's bill rarely gets sort of to this point. And also a bill, of course, that's such an issue now. Ten months ago, Pablo, did, <laughs> what crystal ball did you look well, into to know this I, moment was going to happen? I, I, I knew it was going to get some attention because the, the, the conservatives were not too hot on Kyoto. But the main reason why I did it, not I didn't do it for, for politics. I did it because I deeply believed that we have to make a difference in terms of the environment. And I deeply believe that you have to act for the future, for future generations, and you have to do uh, specific things now. And the environment is a sector where you can do some important things now for tomorrow. So I'm doing it for us, but mostly for our, our children and, and grandchildren. All right, so the government is trying to battle this race yep. now. What are, the, what are they doing at the moment? Because uh, I guess they're going to start again as soon as the, the chamber opens. What's up in there? What's the politics? Well, they're, they're trying to say that this requires royal recommendation. And I mean, actually, they've been, they tried all the tricks. I remember one meeting of the Environment Committee, they brought an expert on, on parliamentary affairs, and he spoke on the same point of order for two hours. And so we lost the whole meeting. And so they've been doing tricks like that. Since the, the problem is that everybody in this house but the conservatives want the bill. So they know that all the liberals are supporting it, the, the, the bloc is supporting it, and the NDP is supporting it. So they're trying to do indirectly what they can do directly. They cannot beat it, so indirectly they're trying to find ways, uh, parliamentary ways to kill it. All right, so let's talk about what happens tonight. So the, uh, the bell is going to ring at 5.30. We've got to vote at 5.45. This bill comes up. We all stand. Everybody supports it except the Conservatives, correct? Y uh, yes, but there's a ruling before from the, the House, the Speaker of the oh, House. Oh, on the Royal Recommendation? Because they tried that again last night. They did something very rare. They stood up not, all, not after QP, but after the votes at 6.30, knowing that we cannot intervene today because the House, uh, uh, we're, we're not in the House on Wednesday morning. And, and they argued again for a third time. Uh, and the same arguments are a bit stronger this time. Uh, they look more desperate. Uh, and now the speaker has to rule at about 3.15, right after QP, to see if we're going ahead to the vote. I'm quite optimistic we will, because it's, it's on the same issue for the third time. And then we vote at uh, 5.45. All right, so when we vote, presumably if we get there, it's going to pass. Yep. Well, what happens then? I mean, the House leader, Peter Van Loan, has said, ah, so what? It's just a piece of paper. You see, well, that's, that's funny, Garth, because they changed the whole speech yesterday. Last Friday, not important, doesn't have teeth. Yesterday, when they brought this argument for the third time, they said it's so important, it, it, it's of such magnitude, and its implications are so vast for the government, it's so binding, that please, Mr. Speaker, consider again your decision and, and just kill the bill. So yesterday, they said the complete opposite. So it proves that it's really binding and they worry about it. All right, so if it passes, Pablo, what do you expect then? Well, I expect, 
it comes out from here, goes to the Senate, and I, I, I am confident to have the support. It will over. pass. Yeah. It will pass in the yeah. Senate, and it becomes law, and then he, the Prime Minister cannot be, decide which law to, to, to respect or not. I mean, he's not the, the emperor or the new king in town. He has to. Have you told him that? I, I told through the media. He knows that. <laughs> He can, you cannot be the prime minister yeah. and decide to respect one law and not the other. Try that, guys. Yeah, Try I not know, to, yeah. to respect the law and see what happens. He has to respect the law. All right. Well, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Cool. Pablo, of course, is the guy. He's the man of the hour. So everybody's going to be watching everything he says and, and uh, does today. And uh, we will, of course, be back later to let you know how that vote turns out. But watch it. This is a watershed moment for the government. And this issue of Kyoto that I know so many of you support is finally getting to the floor of the House of Commons. It may actually get somewhere. Pablo, thanks. Great work, Thank man. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. See you later.